So hey everyone and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich, I'm the channel host, and normally we're talking about drones, building our drone business, imaging technology, software and hardware for building our small drone businesses. Now, I have a whole giant list of videos that I was supposed to be working on this week. Unfortunately, I got knocked down by some kind of virus or food poisoning. I've been tested for the uh, virus that shall not be named and came back negative. So we've had a down week. We're not quite sure what hit, but today's the first full day back up and at the computer screens finally. So I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to have you here on channel. While I've been down and out, I've just been listing other videos and tutorials and information that we'll be doing over the next couple weeks and months here on channel. And one of the things that popped to mind since we've recently started investigating web ODM again, and the folks on my Patreon channel have been looking into it, and other folks on this YouTube channel have been looking into it. And um, it reminded me that there is a lot of open source software out there that's useful for drone operators. So I know a lot of people who are just getting their start. Maybe you just got your part 107, you've got your first new drone, and you don't know where to begin, but you do know that you don't have infinite money, and none of us do. So when we're building a small drone business, we've got to watch our costs, right? Well, there are some tools out there available to us that will help us out in watching those costs and still allowing us to produce quality results both for ourselves and for our potential customers. So I put up seven pieces of software here today. So these are just screen captures because we're going to go through these pretty quick. And But this is something for you to think about if you're starting out in your business. Number one, one of the first open source platforms that I've ever used in my life more than a decade ago now is GIMP. And this is actually a photo editing software and it is open source software and it has been for a long, long time. Um, when I first started trying out Photoshop back in the early 2000s, I also stumbled across GIMP and found that I could do photo editing with GIMP as well. So if you're looking for a photo editing program that is zero cost, GIMP is one of your options here. And it's been a long-standing photo editor for folks, like I said, for more than a decade. So if you don't want to spend on Adobe products or other products for your photo editing, can you edit your drone photos from GIMP? Absolutely, you can. And it feels a little familiar. So uh, I'd suggest checking that out if you're looking for a new photo editing program. The second item we have here, I did these in no particular order, is QGIS. So this is an open source geographical information system. Similar to ArcGIS, you can bring in multiple layers um, to develop maps and models. You can actually accentuate your maps, and you can also utilize a lot of open resources out there, um, such as open street maps, which I realized I didn't put on this list. So there's another one to check out is OSM, the Open Street Maps Project, um, where you can learn more about mapping and modeling with them as well. So there we go. QGIS and Open Street Maps should be another one for you to check out. The next one, which has spurred my little open source review here, is Web ODM. Now, I tried this out several years ago and I ran into some problems because I was running some machines that were a little underpowered for it. Over the past couple of years, though, some things have changed between Docker and Web ODM. Docker is what builds containers for you in a virtual machine for running your open drone mapping. You can go take a look back at my two intros, my last two intros here on channel to see a little bit more about Web ODM. But while I've been experimenting with Web ODM, that's why I went and looked back at QGIS again, because I can take some of my outputs from Web ODM and get them into QGIS to make more professional looking ortho models, for instance. So there we go. So Web ODM has also spurred me to check out the next one on our list, which is MeshLab. So MeshLab is an open source system for processing and editing 3D meshes. So if you are familiar with 3D modeling on applications like 
Web ODM or Metashape or Pix4D, some of our results can be output as dense point clouds. And from those dense point clouds, we can create these triangular meshes, which makes for our 3D models. So some of the outputs that I receive from Web ODM and other applications that I use can be manipulated further in MeshLab, which is also open source once more. The next one for doing these videos, so I've been utilizing this for years now, is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. And I've kept my recordings very simple with OBS, but you can actually set up some pretty intricate stream setups to where you can bounce from screen to screen, and it feels like a very professional studio application. So a lot of people who are doing YouTube videos and tutorials right now that you've also seen online are utilizing OBS Studio. I've got to say, it's one of my favorite open source applications, and it's helped me a lot with growing this channel. So there we go. The next item is Blender. So here we go with another open source application for creating 3D content as well. So once again, some of the information and outputs that we get from applications like WebODM can be fed into MeshLab, or we can take it further and also go into Blender for our 3D modeling as well. So pretty awesome. And so far, all of these have free options. Some of these do offer pay for downloaders if you'd like a little more convenience. But in the end, all of these that we have showed so far, and the one we did in OpenStreetMaps, um, these do have free options or they're straight free. The one item that I also put on this list for your consideration, it's not considered open source, but it's a great video application that a lot of professionals use. It's DaVinci Resolve. Now, there's two different versions of DaVinci, and the initial version for DaVinci Resolve, pointing right here, is a free download. So I do not run DaVinci Resolve because I've been running Final Cut for so many years. I'm so used to it, and I've had my license for years. But if I was shopping around for a video editing application for my drone video work, DaVinci Resolve is definitely worth your look. So once again, we had seven up on screen. We had one additional one, OpenStreetMaps, that I forgot. And the bottom line here is there are a lot of open source projects out there and open source applications that can be utilized in building your drone business. Not all of these things are drone specific. They're also good for your own imaging or video businesses. Or if you're interested in doing GIS work and learning more about building maps, then of course QGIS and OpenStreetMaps are going to be great options for you as well. So there we have it, a really short video while I'm recovering from whatever we had this week, but I, it's been on my mind that I wanted to share the fact to all the uh, drone enthusiasts on this channel that there are some free software options out there so you don't have to break the bank as you start building your drone business. So each of these is worth a look give them a read as well, see some samples of the types of things that can be produced with them, and then make your decisions as whether or not in your post-processing toolkit from your drone work, any of these would have a place in that toolkit. Well, all right, everyone, a really short video for me. And once again, I really appreciate your time here. Please, down in the comments below, let me know if you'd like to know more about any of these applications and where they fit into my own drone business. And we'll see about making some series on each of them if there's an interest in the community. Also, I just wanted to say thanks to my patrons who've been with me through the development of this business for years now. Thanks a lot for being part of our community, everybody. And for those of you who haven't checked out our Patreon channel yet, the uh, information is right down in the lower right hand corner and also down in the show description below. So if you'd like to become part of our small but growing community of drone enthusiasts and drone business building, then check out our Patreon channel. And also be sure to check out our teachable.com channel as well, which is also listed down in the show notes. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you again next week.